Thank you so much. Uh, tomorrow on this program, ladies and gentlemen, comedian Rita Rudner will be here. We'll have a science fair demonstration, and from Duran Duran, Simon Le Bon will be joining us. That's tomorrow. My next guest, is he going to play with the band, Paul? Uh, I don't think so. No? We should try to talk him into doing a little something. Yeah, yeah, save, save Terry's music. Yeah, all right. Um, well, this is incredible. My next guest has spent the last, not 58, 68 years rolling cigars, and boy, are his arms tired. Um... <laughs> <laughs> From the Villazan Cigar Company in Tampa, Florida, please welcome Mr. Tomas Alvarez. Tomas. Now, is this uh, statistic correct? You've been rolling cigars for 68 years? That's right, since... <laughs> Since I was 14 years old. Uh -huh. 14 years uh, old. I was born in 1904. Uh -huh. Were you born in this? In Florida. Yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people, myself included, uh, are perhaps under the impression that people rolling cigars uh, are from Cuba originally. No, the Tampa used to be a uh, cigar. It's a cigar city. Uh huh. And uh, and then during that time they only had the cigar industry there. There was no other industry. Everybody learned to be a cigar uh -huh. maker. See? So it didn't make any difference if they were from Cuba or not. No, no, they came from Cuba. Oh, you they know. did come from Cuba. Yeah, yeah, my majority of the cigar makers mm -hmm. they came from. Cuba. So you're one of the few Americans rolling cigars. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I was born in Tampa. You were born in Tampa. Yeah. Uh, and how many of these can you make in a day? Uh, I make 125, someday 150. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, what does it depend on? What's the difference? How long your lunch is, I guess, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, Tomas, now this, is this uh, pretty much what you work at there in Tampa, a table like this? No, it's got a little channel here, like a gutter. Mm -hmm. Little gutter there for so the scraps all the and so stuff goes yeah. in there, see? But other than that, this is similar to the, uh, oh, the setup. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. we're up here, we stand it up, you know, and got a board here, and you stand this yeah. up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Probably have a telephone on the desk somewhere, too? No, no, oh, no. Okay. No, no, no telephone. All right, show us how you do this. What do you well, begin with? We well, begin here with, uh, what they call it, a, a, a banda. They call it a banda. This banda? Is, yeah, this is the body. Part of the body of the cigar. Mm -hmm. Now, where does this tobacco come from? They come from uh, Honduras, Central America. Uh -huh. It's grown there. Grown but there. But the, the seeds for the tobacco came it, from where? From Cuba. Uh -huh. And when did the seeds? When were the seeds last in Cuba? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, the, the seeds are. I mean. I don't know about that. I know how to make my little torpedo cigar. This is the one that I make. That's a beautiful one. I made it a while ago up here, about yeah. five minutes ago. All right, well, let's, we'll hang on to that one. Yeah. But, but what I'm getting at, the origin of this uh, tobacco in these cigars is maybe close to 30 years old, right? It's got that kind of a history. Mm. What? <laughs> 30 years. Ain't misbehaving in G. Paul, take it no, but what, now let me, let me try this again. The the seed in after the revolution in Cuba. Oh. The seed people who were making cigars there took the seeds with them and left the country. That's right. Yeah, and then they uh, they planted it in Honduras. That's right. And so the, the this tobacco is a descendant of seeds originally planted in Cuba. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. Now this is the banda. This is this is the core of the cigar. This is the body of the cigar. The there. body of the cigar. All right. And this is what they call it—a long filler. The long filler. So what is the difference between the two kinds of tobacco? Well, they are, they all uh, same tobacco. Here's the way you blend your your filler. See, with the light one and the dark one and all like that. That okay. gives you the taste. Yeah. yeah. Well, they give you a taste. Okay. We there. <laughs> We, you smoke one of them, man. We got to get going, Tomas. I've wasted too much time here on this, and I'm sorry. So let, what we really want to do is watch you work. Yeah, I guess. Do you smoke a lot of cigars yourself? Yeah, I, I, when I finish working, uh -huh. you cannot smoke a cigar. You cannot smoke a cigar working. Why is that? Because how can you hold a cigar in your hand and, and make a cigar? <laughs> yeah, <I don't. laughs> okay. That's the body of the cigar here. Uh -huh. You got to know the amount that you put 
a little bit more up here than up here because it's like a torpedo. Oh, this is the kind that you showed us earlier. That's it's gonna, right. It's going to end torpedo. up looking like, like that. You roll it like that, see? Yeah. And then you put it up here and there's a mold here like that. Mm -hmm. And you press it for about 20 minutes. Is all this done by hand or is there a machine that helps out? No, that's all by hand. Uh -huh. And then here's when they're already pressed, see? Yeah, all right. See, now I trim it in this, fix it up, make the shape of the torpedo. Torpedo? Yeah. yeah. Cut it up here so it be the measure of six inches. Now, is that a, the finished product? No. No. Now it goes the main part. Here's what they call a wrapper. Mm -hmm. Also tobacco? All tobacco. But from a different plant? No, no, no. Same plant? No, all, uh, the same seed, but different. The one grows thicker and the other grows thinner, see? Uh -huh. Now, do you select the tobacco for these or does somebody else do that? No, no, they, they select the upstairs. Okay. But who are the guys? Well, <laughs> well, I don't know the guy. It's the same way it works here yeah, at NBC. What they call they, a blade. A blade. A blade? That's how you trim yeah, the, the wrapper? Yeah, blade, yeah. Mm -hmm. You cut the edge. Do you enjoy see? this kind of work, Tomas? Sure. Do you enjoy this kind of work? Yeah. Yeah. See? Mm -hmm. Where I got this? This is already fixed up. Yeah. See? Do you use any glue in keeping it? Oh, putting... yeah, that's a vegetable glue. Well, now, what kind of glue is that? Vegetable glue. Vegetable glue. Yeah. Now, is that harmful? There's no taste, no smell. Uh-huh. Then you roll it like that, you know. You come up here to this place here, you turn it around. Chop it off. We're about ready to go, aren't we? Chop it up, give the size as you want. Now, that, here's the main part. Make that, make that little round, beautiful head. <laughs> 68 years he's been. 68 years and I'll be 82. You're not 82, are you? I'll be in January. I was born in 1904. You're in remarkable shape for someone 82 years thank old. Thank you, thank you. Come now, to think of it, you're in remarkable shape for someone my be, age. Now, like, you got to be like your doctor. Mm -hmm. See, when they take the penis out, see? Cut it here, cut it there, cut it here again, break it back again. Now, you got to form that little bottom. Now, what are you doing that? You're, you're making it uh, so it all lays... They call that sh shaped cigar. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Okay. This will be the shape of the cigar. Mm -hmm. All right. We're just about there. Then you turn this one on the top like that. Mm-hmm. See? Do you ever... For then you cut it. <laughs> Do you ever, for the fun of it, Tomas, put a little gunpowder in one of those? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. It's kind of a joke. Just... <laughs> See, now when they... Oh, that's a beauty. That's you, you unbelievable. You let them dry, mm -hmm. and they come, this one's already dry. Right. See, I made it about five minutes ago, see? All right. A complete different. That's what you call a, a death crack. This is a tasty it's cigar? Good. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll smoke it. Well, huh? it cost you a dollar and a half. A dollar and a half cigar? Yeah. All right. Awesome. Can I smoke it a little later? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, Tomas, thank you very much for coming here. Did you have a nice time? You bet. All right, nice meeting you. Say hello to the folks in Tampa. Uh, we'll yeah. be right back, can, folks. What? Can I tell my daughter hello in Oregon? Yeah, go ahead. I tell her hello to my daughter. She lives in Oregon and my son in Tampa, Florida. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>